Exuding sunshine from her sneakers to her bustling tutu, the Happy Hope Factory on Cape Cod is home to a Hope Fairy and her many helpers. Hello, heroes. Her name is Emmy Burke. How are all of my crayon friends? 11 years ago, Emmy started sending out Happy Hope bags to kids in crisis, filled with activities and care items. She came up with the idea as a child, watching her father, a pediatrician. It was exciting to see my dad helping children who were ill, but what I recognized was that there were a lot of children who weren't going home and they didn't have the fun things that I loved so much, like coloring books and crayons. And my dad would explain to me that for a lot of children with life-limiting and chronic illness, every penny is spent on treatment. Time passed, but the birth of her third son refocused her life on helping kids in struggle. Never give up. I can hear everything that he doesn't say, but that he says to me through his eyes. Now 16, Connor was born with profound challenges. Emmy says advice she got from doctors was unthinkable. We should place him in a facility and turn around. And I thought to myself, there's no way. He is my son. And in helping Connor to find his purpose, Erica, he led me to my life's mission. Helping on that mission since the start, Wendy Webster. The two met at the supermarket where Emmy would take Connor to practice walking. He had a little cardigan on, a little bow tie, these goggle glasses, the smallest walker you could ever imagine. I didn't want to meet her. I wanted to meet the little guy. He was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she was fine, but the little guy was amazing. Together, what Emmy and Wendy have accomplished is nothing short of amazing. This month, their 700,000th Happy Hope bag will go out. Partnering with companies across the country has allowed this operation to scale up big time. Companies like Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Massachusetts, they serve hospitalized children. Some of our other partners, like our insurance companies, they serve you know kids in crisis that might be hurricanes. All design and printing is done in-house in Bourne to keep costs low. Here's Oh Snap, a little play on gingerbread. Cute. And volunteers keep the factory in motion. We only have like 10,000 more penguins to do. You guys OK? <laughs> Just they sign up to volunteer with us and to do all the projects that we really can't afford to pay people to do. They just focus on bringing joy and comfort to families and kids in really challenging situations. So why wouldn't you want to help with that? Emmy came up with her fairy persona to spread joy while making deliveries. It's a feeling she radiates, wings on or off. I told everybody, someday I'm going to have a Happy Hope factory. And for most of my life, people laughed and they said, Emmy, you're crazy. But having a child like Connor, who constantly reminds me that there's more we can do. There are children suffering every day and it is our, our responsibility, if we can, to serve.